box of Orange is the New Black is floating, and she hopes she's blazing a trail as the first openly transgender actor nominated for an Emmy. You are the Emmy's first openly transgender acting nominee. Oh my gosh, it, you know, I've been thinking a lot about that today and the history of that moment and I hope that it inspires a lot of other trans actors to pursue their dreams and know that their dreams are possible and also inspire people in the industry to think that you can actually cast trans actors to play trans roles and, and we might do a pretty good job and maybe you can even cast trans folks to play roles that are not necessarily trans. Right, that, right. Yeah. Now, do you think that you are blazing a path in a way? Is that is that one of your goals to kind of help others? really create their own their own path and not be afraid as well. I, well. I think we'll see what happens, but what I do know so far is that so many people have been inspired by this character and inspired by this moment that I'm, I'm having, and so that, that feels good. I think history will, will really sort of tell us. We just, I am too close to it to sort of have any real perspective. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely a dream come true. And so I'm like, now I have, a lot of my dreams have come true. Now we have to set new goals, and I already am. I'm very ambitious. <laughs> How much of a blessing is the series, is Orange is the New Black for you? I was just happy to have a job, you know, I was just happy to have a job. I was having some trouble with my rent, like when I got this job, and so I was just happy to be working, and then I was working with like amazing people like Ginger Cohen and all the amazing directors um, on our show and the amazing writers and actors, and so I was happy to be working, and then it's turned into so much more than I could have even dreamed of.